Hi there and welcome to this video which is going to just um, run through an introduction as to how to use the bending light FET simulation and this is going to work on uh, dealing with waves and wave refraction. So on the link in this activity click on it and you'll open up the bending light um, unit which looks like this. Just open it up like so. And really what you want to do is to go on to the intro section. You can use the more tools um, it won't make any difference. There just literally are more tools there. So click onto the intro section. And then basically, remember, you've got a light here. You've got a protractor here. And then basically, you've got um, the normal, which is shown on the, on the screen. So you can always pull them in. Now, over here, what we can do is mirror um, going from a more dense medium into a less dense medium, which is basically trying to look at what happens when water moves from um, deep water into shallow water or shallow water from deep water. And all you do is set up um, a scenario. So for example, I might put glass there and then go into air there. So I'm going from a denser medium into a less dense medium. So it's like going from shallow water into deep water. Or if I turn it round, I've got air there, which is going to be really less dense. I can put water there. That it really doesn't matter. So now what we're doing is going from deeper water into shallower water. Now, what you can also do is when you switch the light on, we can have it in rays. And I find that using the rays is really, really useful if you want to look at angle of refraction. Um, but when we want to look at waves, if we click up here in the left-hand corner, you've got a wave simulation. So you can see what's happening to the waves as they pass through the various media. Now, don't worry about the refraction, uh, the reflection here. We're not going to be utilising that. But what will be in important to look at is the wavelength that you see, the angles that you see, and also what happens to the beam. So basically, that's all you need to know about using the tool. What I'd like you to do now is um, go on and start using this um, simulation and start exploring what happens to waves when um, they enter, you know, go from deep water into shallow water or shallow water into deep water. What I will then do is give you a series of um, problems where you can actually start drawing what's happening so you get the idea of what wave patterns are going to be produced. Okay, well I hope you found that useful and I um, hope you enjoy the activity. It's a real good learning activity, very hands-on, and um, I look forward to meeting you again. Bye for now.